Look at all these beautiful faces. I love it. I, you're all not waiting to see me, are you? I know exactly who you're all waiting to see. This is, this is what's happening. I know what's happening. <laughs> all right, we got five minutes. I'm gonna make sure our special guests are hopping on. So make sure you guys have a clear workout area. Make sure you've grabbed your water, your shoes are on, you're ready to go. Um, for those of you that wanna follow along on my shared screen, you can. What I've noticed is that it gets choppy on Zoom. So you may wanna just shrink your Zoom and open your Beachbody On Demand. If you don't have Beachbody On Demand, just go to Beachbody On Demand and you can go to the 10 round sample. And I'm gonna post the sample workout in the comments in the chat that you can go to and grab it, okay? Okay, so the link is in the chat for you to snag and you can stream this right from your own computer and just shrink up the Zoom and put yourself on mute and we can do this together. All right, so we're just gonna wait. We've got about four or five minutes before we get started and we're gonna get our sweat on. I'm pumped. Could just be me, but Bod seems to be a little bit lagged right now, so have a little bit of patience, guys. I'm late. We're doing the sample workout, right? That's right. We're okay. doing the sample. Yeah, because okay, it gives a little bit of like boxing and the weights. And we're just going to wait for a couple minutes because we have a couple special guests hopping on. I know there's 80 people on here and I'm like, oh my gosh, you all have on to not see me.
So Katie, if you click the link on, yeah, Cassandra, you do you, whatever workout you wanna be doing. Um, this one is for, if people have never tried the 10 rounds, um, this is the sample. So Katie, I have clicked the 10 rounds overview. The link is right up above in the chat. Is that what you're having trouble finding? Because it should take you right to above the firewall where you just get to play the free sample at the top. And if you need it, as soon as Joel is, is kind of finished chatting, I'm gonna stream this workout um, and stream it privately. But don't watch me for any, <laughs> don't watch me if you can't see the workout because I am like a baby giraffe with punching. But okay, my, so, sorry, can I just. Here, I'm gonna message them, where are you? Who are you messaging? I'm on. Oh, Joe Freeman, I hear you. Where good morning. I was gonna... Good afternoon. Good evening. Where are you? Wherever you are. Hello. Where I'm panning. Speaker view. I'm like moving my arms like crazy. Ah, good morning, Joel. Good morning, What's Joel. The, oh, Mr. Carpinko. Hello, sir. Look at Carpinko's headshot picture. Like that's worse than mine. <laughs> oh my like, gosh, I love it. So Joel, there are not that's, 120 that's people on this to see me. I know that's that. awesome. No, they, they came on to see Mike Carpinko. Didn't you know that? They did. <laughs> so Joel, <laughs> we are super pumped. So guys, just for those of you that uh, don't know Joel Freeman, he is a legend in our world and in our hearts. We love him, not just because he's an incredible super trainer and a, an amazing business businessman, but also because he's a really good soul. So Joel, You've got our heart. We love you. Um, our kids are vacuuming right now. So that's I love that. you know, the background. Um, but I would love, Joel, um, just for you to kind of share a little bit of this new program and what you're excited about with boxing. We've got about 100, yeah, about 130 people that are on live. I know a lot of people are going to be watching the replay that haven't tried boxing and don't know what's happening. And so we would just love to hear a little bit from you to give us the lowdown tips and tricks, and then we're gonna get into the sample workout. For sure, I love it. So congratulations, you guys, on stepping out of your comfort zone, because that is exactly what's about to happen to you if you've never boxed before. Um, so look, the, the number one thing that's coming out of the, the free sample right now, uh, in terms of feedback and what people are saying, is the fact they're saying, uh, I'm not coordinated. Um, I've, not, uh, I've never boxed before, this felt weird. Good. It's supposed to. Like if you've never tried something for the first time, then that's exactly how it should feel. It's not supposed to be comfortable. It's not supposed, you're not gonna nail it the very first time you try it. Think about the first time you tried to ride a bike or walk. You know, it's like, it's just, it's learned behavior. So uh, everyone says, well, I'm not coordinated, so I can't do this. That is 100% inaccurate. Uh, you are simply just not opening yourself up to trying uh, something new. Uh-oh, we got a screen share. Oh, it's always a little iffy when someone starts sharing their screen. I'm always uh, waiting for something. How do you unshare your screen? I don't know. Let's. Uh, uh, let me see. There we go. Very go. good. We're... I'm always. I'm always curious. Uh, like I'm always waiting there for. Go. Like there we go. Uh, I'm always waiting for something good to happen though when someone shares their screen. Like you know, you want to see something. Like when they unmute themselves, I'm like, ooh, like let's give it. Oh. It's like, oh, it's just a picture of your kids. They're cute, but that's not what we were hoping for. Um, so, <laughs> hey, but, yeah, so that listen, stuff, man. what's that, Jamie? Or, yeah, what? I didn't hear him. So, uh, but look, what I was saying is this is going to be challenging. Um, and here's the biggest thing, too. It's all right, Tasha. We still love you. So, um, when it comes to trying something new and when it comes to doing something you've never done before, it's gonna feel awkward. And the free sample is, what you have to remember is it's exactly that. It's a sample, it's a taste. It's 38 minutes of everything that you, or a taste of everything that you'll see in the actual program that's six weeks long. 38 minutes versus six weeks. I've got six weeks to teach you how to box versus the free sample, I only got 38 minutes to show you a little bit of everything because it's a free sample, right? So that's why you, uh, that's why it's designed a little bit different. That's why it's not uh, broken down the same way that it is in the actual program. But you'll see the, the way that the progressions work in terms of combinations. Uh, you'll see 
the conditioning, the agility element, you'll see the weightlifting element, but by no means is it indicative of how you're going to learn how to box and train in the actual six weeks. So I just want everyone to, to go into this knowing that you might, not might, you will feel lost in this, this 38 minute workout if you've never boxed before. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Um, but I cue through everything. Uh, we made sure to like cue, like I am talking nonstop in these workouts because I'm making sure that you guys are really understanding what I'm trying to do. And if you've boxed before, or if you've done core to force, or you've done turbo, or you've done Tybo, or whatever this, great. Get rid of that idea that it's going to be the same because it's not a boxing training program, 10 rounds, the way you stand, the way you move is different because you're not throwing kicks. Uh, we're not switching sides. Everyone's going to freak out and say they're going to become lopsided. No, you're not. I promise you, as long as you listen to what I say, it won't happen. So it's just getting rid of uh, you know, what you think you know and what you think you've done before and learning something new. I mean, it's a new program. If it wasn't new, then what, like, if it was similar to everything else you've already done, then what's the point of coming out with a new program? Like, that's the whole idea is to make it new, make it weird, make it awkward. Uh, and that's how you learn new skills. And that's how you actually work on coordination. That's work, how you work on the mind and muscle connection. That's great for what we're trying to do as we get older, especially we want to keep that connection rolling. Um, there's a reason why boxing has become so popular in the world uh, of healthcare with Parkinson's because of that mind to muscle connection. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, there's a lot behind this. So that's my number one advice is to, piece of advice is to just go into this knowing that it's a sample. Um, and at the end of it, as long as you got a good sweat on, you got a good workout in and, uh, you're going to be surprised. You're going to be a little sore tomorrow. We love that. Thank you, Joel. That yeah. has been, it's so nice just hearing right from you and I'm going to just make a gallery view. It's so nice hearing right from you, the creator of the program. And I think that what great tips and tricks to go into the sample. So from what I heard from Joel was let go of your judgment let go of what you think you know and enjoy the process <laughs> that's, right you summed it up perfectly thank you kim so and that's exactly but it, it, that's exactly what it is so uh especially if you're a and i know there's not everybody on here is not a team beach body coach uh but remember when we make new programs remember what the intent what the goal is here is to capture people who are not working out already so if you've been, you know, you're going through these programs, you're doing every program that comes out as a coach or whatever it is, good for you. That's not who this program was made for. This is really made for people who are sitting on their butts doing nothing and trying different. It's going to look different. It's going to sound different. Um, than a lot of things you've done before again with switching sides and you know there's not a stretch at the end because stretching is very uh is very individual and instead of just doing a two minute stretch we want people to use that what we already have on beach body on demand for stretching so you know take a few extra minutes and do that yourself um and and really go through it and enjoy what the intent is which is to create something new, something that feels different. It's fun in a different way. It's learning a new skill and, and know the fact that, you know, this is something that has been a year in the making. It took me six months to really dial it in. We tested it. Uh, the results, the before and afters are insane in just six weeks. Um, and this is something that, you know, there, it, it tackles the two things that everyone always wants to do. They want to burn fat and build muscle. And that's what this program does. So I really hope you guys go out there with an open mind. And above all, uh, it's my favorite F word in the entire world, fun, is to have fun. Yeah, you thought I was going somewhere else there. Uh, is to have fun while you do it. Because otherwise, what's the point? If you're not enjoying it and you're not having any fun, you're not going to do it again. I love it. We appreciate you, Joel. So guys, Absolutely. I'm going to share my screen. We have Mike Carpenko on the call. He was a cast member in this 10 rounds, an amazing friend of Joel. He is my amazing, amazing upline mentor coach. And we love you, Mike. And he's going to work out with us. So if you get lost on your program, find Mike on your little screen and follow <laughs> Mike. Don't oh, I follow love it. me. I don't love all the pressure. Put all the pressure on him. Yeah, I love it. it because sometimes our Zoom, when we share the screen, like for those of them, it will glitch or glitch. Don't follow me. But you can still but, see people working. So I'm, And what I'm going to say, too, in that aspect of it, if you are, um, you know, this is also something a little bit different. If you're a lefty, you're going to be mirroring the screen. 
Um, so yay for lefties. You guys get some love in this program. But if you're not, if you're in a traditional stance and your left leg is forward in an orthodox or traditional stance, you're not mirroring. So that's why it's important to listen to what I'm saying and not think of it as your right or left. Change the terminology in your head. This is part of the learning something new is the terminology goes not from right to left, but front to back, lead to rear. So you learn what your lead hand is in your rear hand and you learn what your lead leg is in your rear leg. And I promise you, if you think of it that way, it's going to be so much easier. Awesome. Good luck, everybody. All Have right. fun. Thanks, Joel. We appreciate You're you. Good luck. All right. All right. See you guys. Going to share the screen and let's get started. All right. Here we go. So again, I put the link in the chat so you can stream it to your own computer or you can follow along with us here. Hi, I'm Joel Freeman, and welcome to 10 Round, a high intensity boxing program that I guarantee is going to leave you drenched in sweat. In this workout today, you're going to experience everything that this program has to offer. High intensity boxing combinations, agility, conditioning, and don't forget weightlifting. All right, so we got to get to work on this one. Grab your loop. Round one starts right now. As always, check out your resistance loop and make sure it's all set for safety. Take it right around your wrist, set your feet, and we go straight into standing raise. And if you don't have a loop, don't worry about minutes. it. The first round is all about warm up, getting the blood flowing creating tension on the loop, and you're going to feel the activation in your shoulders. All right, so the program itself, 10 rounds, what's it all about? Five days a week, six weeks total, and you have 10 three-minute rounds in the boxing days. Don't worry, I'm going to give you a 45-second break in between every single round. Every single workout's less than 40 minutes, so you've got plenty of time, and the good news is it'll be over before you know it. Last one, come up to the top, stop, and bring it into a lat pull-down. Draw your elbows down towards the ground, and this is all about range of motion right here. So if you can't go all the way to the bottom, that's okay. Oh, hi, Deja. Look at you smile, girl. <laughs> You're going to meet an awesome boxing team behind me. More to come later. But stay with it and use this to really feel the blood pumping through your shoulders. Workout days. Through those five days, I already said three days of boxing. You also have two lifting days every single week because lifting is where it's at when it comes to muscle building. Five total days, and that is where it's going to be your main, main total body transformation. That's why I bring it down. Put your palm towards us, and then go double and abs away from each other until it hits the end of the loop. As you spread it apart, and you really feel the shoulder activation. Speaking of loop, I was excited to bring the loops into this program because, man, it adds a whole nother degree of work, low impact, but deep muscle burn. Trust us, you're going to feel it. Even today, you're going to experience this. That's two, one. All right, there's your body, get rid of the loop, and let's go into what's called stamp setup. It's how you know which way to stamp. If you start with your feet right up underneath your hips, now listen up. If you are right-handed, you're what we call orthodox. That means if you're right-handed, your left leg is going to come forward. If you're left-handed, that means your right leg is going to come forward. All right, I think we're all right. It's but we're going to step into what we call our orthodox stand. Left leg step forward. Let's take the back right foot. Back foot. So it turns out 45 degrees. This allows the hips to square up 45 degree at the angle. And when you bring your guard up, clench your fists, hands in, thumb just to the outside, and pull it right up underneath your cheekbones. And now there's your guard. Step back. Now try to step into your stance. Step out. Step back. When you do this, keep doing it. Keep going for a while. But when you do this, think about. You don't want to turn your body all the way to the side like a surfboard. There should always be distance in between your feet, and then you turn the hips. And last one, hold here, and we go into what's called a boxer's bounce, shifting your body weight forward and back. It's not just for the hips. We don't do that, right? None of that in this program. It's the full body movement forward and back. Light on the balls of your feet, and you're going to want this because as we go into the combination and some of the conditioning and agility later, this is really where you're going to come back to. You'll always come back to this for a break or whenever you're ready to get into your next fight combination, next round, which starts right now. You guys ready? All right, here we go. So, team is in their boxing bounce, and I'm going to teach you your first two shots of the day, a one-two. One is always going to come off your lead arm, your lead leg. Goes into a one. One-two is your back arm. A one is a quick jab. So your front leg comes up and lands just as your fist aims right for your opponent's nose. And then the back hip turns, 
There's your two. So if you go into a one and two, one, two, reset. Every single time we throw a combination, you're going to reset before you add on or you go again. All right? Three minutes, we're going to be going through this. I'm going to teach you the moves. We're going to add all the combinations as we go. Take a big deep breath in. You ready, Deja? Yeah. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, and reset. One, two. Now check out the weight distribution. We're not leaning forward. We're not leaning back. From the side shot, you see, one, two, the body, the weight just stays right in the middle. And then what this allows me to do is get full body rotation. You're going to hear me say rotation so much. Repetition so much. I'm going to keep repeating myself over and over and over again because that is how you do it. Stay with it. One, two. Nice. Now, these boxing workouts are built on three main pillars. First one, power. That helps build lean muscle mass. Two, speed and agility. That's for fat burning. And three, endurance, because the longer we go, the more calories we burn. Stay with it. One, two. Make sure you're rotating through. Balls of your feet land, and the hips turn. Your arms will catch up. Don't worry about speed. Now we're going to add on what's called a three. One, two, three, in your hook. The front arm, and you'll see it's a rotational movement coming around. So the first two shots, pop, pop, right down the middle, right towards your opponent's nose. The third shot is coming around the side, right into your opponent's cheek. You can think about that. So one, two, three, and reset. One, two, three, reset. You hear the team exhaling? They're exhaling and they're pivoting, and you see that the hips are turning. Boom. One, two, three, reset. One, two, three. Now check it out, you're shadow boxing. No bag, no sparring partner needed, just straight air, which means ah, no impact, but high intensity. This is what makes 10 rounds so good, so effective, is the fact that we're gonna keep working through every single combination, and you're gonna be sweating, and you start feeling your shoulders if you're doing it right. Hips are turning, one, two, three, right back. One, two, three, you can say it if it helps, because we're going to add on a two this time. One, two, three, two. Slow down. One, two, three, two. That's your four punch combination. You go slow. Watch our hips turn. One, two, three, two. Reset. One, two, three, two. Say it out loud. One, two, three, two. Keep going. Keep working through it. Now we're like, the be awesome. We know it. But for the first time ever, we took it up a notch. We're taking 10 rounds bah, bah, on the road, real-time shooting, six different cities, so six weeks. Every single week, you're going to see us in a different city, filming a different iconic location on a tour bus. Someone say road trip. Road trip. Bah, 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 bah. Stay with it. One, two, three, two. Turn your hips. One, two, three, two. Do not lose your rotation. You're here till the very end of the round because we want to work through the combo. Keep going. You got three, two, one more. Woo, I love it when it hits the bell right there, right on the shot. Yeah, nicely done. All right, right into your boxer's bounce. You're going into a five, six. You've already learned the one, two, three, four, five, six. Those are uppercuts from the side. Check it out. Five, six. All you have to think about is rotate your hip first. You're going to drop the shoulder slightly. That allows you to come up and away from your face. If at any point you throw a five or a six and you see the top of your fist, please bring it away from your face and your body. You'll see the location right here. You'll see the angle. Five, six, reset. Talk about shoulder rotation. Talk about torquing of the body. Here we go. Working in three, two, one. Five, six, let's not. Reset. Five, six. One target. Two punches, five, six. Now, this is what we normally see in boxing, is the minute you drop your guard, you're punching from your waist. Get your guard up, turn your hips, move your body. Five, six, right back, five, six. Breathe, exhale. It sounds like someone sprung a leak in here. That's what we're going for, five, six. Now we're gonna add on a three. Five, six, three, reset, five, six, three. Reset. Pivoting and turning your hips. This is what you want to focus on. Even the very first workout you've ever done, this is the first time you've ever boxed, is to focus on rotation. Stay with it. Still have to always think about rotation. Five, six, three, 
Exactly. Five, six, three, three, seven. Nice. We three in. What's so cool about this program is we have massive combinations. We're going to take you through them over and over and over again. The more you get it, the more energy, the more sweat. As a result, who doesn't have to do that? Come on, five, six, three. Power chest. Breathe. Make sure you come back to your guard every time. Don't worry, footwork is coming too. But we got to get the combos first. You have to get the rotation moves. Nice. Now we add a three into a four. Five, six, three, four. That's a back hook. Boom. Five, six, three, four. You'll see that we slow down on the rotation from the back arm because we have to travel a little bit further and the hips have to move first. And that's fine. Take your time. You don't have to keep up with us. It's you against you. Five, six, three, four. Just keep saying five, six, three, four. Stay with it. Five, six, three, four. Five, six, three, four. The more you say it, the easier it's going to get. The more repetition you grow, the faster you get it. I promise. Five, five, six, three, four. Reset. Five, six, three, four. Stay with it. So much core rotation. You got this. Come on. Ooh. Did you hear that? The music just changed. That means something fun is coming. It's called an all out, burnout. We're gonna stand and throw in one spot, ones and twos, as fast as you can. Three, two, one, go. 30 seconds all out. This burnout is gonna be in every single boxing day. Three times. Why are we doing it? Because we increase our endurance. We increase our intensity, which means you gotta punch. You gotta rotate, turn your hips, and you gotta go faster, faster. Turn, turn, turn. Keep punching. Keep punching. Less than 10. Ah, come on. Stay with it. You got it. You got it. Three, two, one. Boom. Woo. You should come out of the boxing round and the all out just amped up. Ready to go. All right. Nicely done. Now we're going to go into your lifting. We're going to need one heavy dumbbell. Here's my heavy dumbbell. And what we're going to do is we're going to go front leg, top and squat. You just have to step to the on the dumbbell, take it down and back, so you stay line with your toes. Second move, step your feet outside your shoulders, nice and wide, toes towards us, sink you down, hold it onto your dumbbell, knee over your toe, and butt back and away from you to reach it into the legs, okay? I'll start this one a little bit. You got your hands. Okay. All right, here we go. Top and squat. Three, two, one. There's the bell, we work for it. Now here's what's different about the lifting of 10 rounds. We go for endurance. AMRAP style, which means as many reps as possible, but you're not in any hurry. You're going time under tension and staying in a specific movement for a certain amount of time. That's muscular endurance right now. If you want a total body transformation, you have to lift. So, two days a week, that's what we got. One day, all legs, all lower body. Day two, upper body. Stay with it. All you're going to need throughout these workouts, light, medium, heavy dumbbells, and those wonderful resistance loops. Get ready in three, two, one. Set the weight down, quick transition, feet out, pick it up, right to work, into the side swing. All right. If this move is weird and you've never done it before, here's how you do it. Drop the weight, keep your chest lifted, and think about sinking down and back. Slow down, take your time, and if you don't have the range of motion, you can stay up higher if you need to. Most important, boat speaks in front, and when you're ready, you can drop down, get the weight, sink down. Nice, you can feel that in your legs. Chest stays lifted. We're going back to the goblin squat in three, two, one, set it in, lift it up, pick it up, make the work. Go, sink down. Good transition. You got to keep working. Now, people think about punching and boxing. So many people think it's just upper body, it's just on your arms. It ain't true. Power starts from the ground up. So we build our foundation first, we work our legs, we build the strength. That's where the power is going to come from, I promise you. Stay with it. Your legs are gonna hate me. No. Stay with it. Chest is lifted. Come on, core in tight. 
support your body. We're going to change it. Make a side sway in three, two, one. Set it down. Step it out. Right to it. Pick it up and go. Straight out. Eyes up. Chest up. Okay? And I'm start to go forward. And your body is starting to lean forward. Drop the weight. Just work on your legs. Keep sinking through it, all right? We got you. We're really working on this. Now the movements, they work. But flexibility is key when sticking with the program. So that's exactly why five days a week, you choose your five days. You can take your rest days, whatever you want in this program. Just do the calendar in order, and you'll thank us for it. You feel anything, G? <laughs> All right. Three, two, one. Thanks. There's your legs. Here we go with the upper body. Go ahead and drop that. Get rid of that thing. I don't want that anymore. <laughs> All right. So a little taste of your upper body. Regular, good old-fashioned bicep curls, knuckles down, thumb facing outward, keep your elbows pinned in. Into regular push-ups, hands outside your shoulder. And then while you're down there, one of my favorite weightlifting moves is called a single side crusher. Hold it onto a dumbbell. Let me show you. Hold on to the dumbbell, hand inside the crook of your arm, elbow in, weight comes to the opposite shoulder, all right? So, biceps first. Let's go, Dej. Bicep curls. Picking them up. Working it. Set your feet in three, two, go. Straight up and down. Now listen, you're not in a hurry. You're here for a while. 50 seconds to be exact. Elbows stay in pin close to your body. Nice. Listen, I tell you what, these workouts, these are workouts, these workouts are tough. These workouts are tough. Doing this, going down the road, do that. We're going to use the five performance line. That is our bread and butter. There guys, let's learn some land stuff right now. Pretty workout, baby, it kicked in. And then, not just to amps you up, let it be proven. Stamina, strength, endurance, that's what we're all about here. And then... Get ready for push-ups. Ready, set, go. Drop it. Push-ups. Going right into work. Now, make sure your hands are out wide of your shoulders. If you ever feel that your elbows are flaring outward, just like this, away from your wrists, just take your hands a little bit wider, and then you're really going to feel it. Speaking of feeling it, where you should you feel it? In your chest. If you're feeling more in your shoulders, the weight, the hands should be right in line with the chest. Sink it through it. Your option at any point is to drop to your knees, but keep moving, okay? Knees or toes, remember, it's not about anybody else but you right now. Get ready to switch in three, two, one. Drop to your knees, grab your weight, single side crusher. Straight down, elbow up, into the work. No time to dilly daddy. Straight up and straight down. Now, I don't know about you, but weightlifting kind of makes me sore. <laughs> You're going to be really sore after this. So, I told you about guys, I'll recover. That is my little goal on the gorge flavor. Helps reduce exercise and reduce soreness, which is what we're inducing right now. Stay with it. We're using the hand to stabilize the arm. Weight comes to the other side of the shoulder. Stay with it. You feel this in the back of your arm. Get ready to switch in three, Two, one, bring it down, lift up, and switch sides. Nice. All about control in the back of your arm. Stay with it. If you're just using your other hand to stabilize from shoulder to elbow, it shouldn't be moving, it should be straight up, then right towards your opposite shoulder and back. Nice. Make sure you're holding on to the dumbbell. Everything else is flat. Nice, do you gotta hear you breathing? Go hold your breath. Keep moving. Deja's smiling her way through it. Yeah. <laughs> Stay with it. Less than 10. Come on. Woo. Feel my arms. Ah. You got three, two, one. Down. Release it. Good job. Holy sweat. <laughs> what was that one word you had, Woody? Wow. <laughs> That's a good thing. All right, hey, listen up. You're done with your weights. Get your weights out of the way. We're going into conditioning. Round six, conditioning. The next so two good. rounds are conditioning. All you need is your towel. Now, this is what I love about it. 
take your towel, fold it half long ways, then fold it again. Take it, bring it right around the back of your neck. It's gonna stay here. You're gonna hold on to the edges. Here's your move. First move, 60 seconds. Double out and in, forward four, and foot back forward. Three, two, one. Let's have some fun. Bring it out. Two, three, four, one, two, three. Now the team's gonna stay with it, but listen, you have the option is to step and keep working through it, okay? If at any point that you feel that this is too much impact, this is your movement to come back. And you can stay with it, with us, or you can always try to speed up. But here's what we're trying to do. You're staying on the balls of your feet, imagining four squares in front of you. One, two, three, four, one. So your heels don't touch the ground the entire time. Hello, calves. <laughs> stay with it. Now, this type of conditioning will happen every single boxing workout, every single boxing day. This is where we focus on speed, agility, and endurance. That's why you're here for 60 seconds. Three, four, we got a new move. Triple sidewalk coming up. You're gonna step out and step to the side three times. All right, three, two, one. Let's step out into a one, two, three. Okay, here's what you wanna do. Stay low, three, one, two, three. You have options here, this is your range. You can stay higher up. I want you to at least have a little bit of weight loaded into your legs. And then once you feel good, you can go more. Just I don't know. All right. We're gonna go. Now listen, you can do this. You can't feel your legs until you're blue in the face. You can work out nonstop. But we know nutrition. It always comes down to nutrition. Get around has to teach my nutrition plan. They take you through it and teach you all the basics. Long term. Transformation, that's what you want. That's what we're in for. Be mindset our ultimate function fixes that take you through these. Take you on point. Take you get control of your eating. Can you feel your legs yet? Oh, I, can. I can. All right. Now we can put the whole thing together. Double out and in, triple walk. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Bring it back. We're going to go side on, sink down, and watch this side. One, two, three, front to the front. One, two, Three, four, bring it back. Three, two, one, sink down, get to the side. Oh, hey, how's it going? <laughs> straight out, straight out. Two, three, four, bring it back. Now this is where you gotta get low. Get low right now. Boom, sink down. Oh, bring it right back out. One, two, three, four, bring it back. Two, three, four, and hold. How you doing, G? You're way back there. You feel anything? Okay, second. Now look, you don't have to stay with us. If this is too much, that's fine. Just keep working. Try to keep up as best you can. And look, we're right here with you. Three, two, one. Nice. I think we should do it again. No, I have to. But I think we should add a loop. Grab your loop. All right, that's right. We're gonna do the exact same thing, but this time, grab your loop, bring it around your ankles, and it's gonna be fun. <laughs> so this is how you progress your agility drills. Doesn't mean you always have to go faster. Sometimes it just means you gotta add a little bit of resistance. So double out and in. First things first. Have some fun. You with me, brother? Sure. Match your headband, buddies. We got this. <laughs> All right, just a little back and forth. Lie on the feet. <sighs> this is gonna be fun. I like this part. All right, three, two, one. Let's go. Out. Two, three, four. You should instantly feel the difference. Right to your feet only, feet only, feet only. Out. Two, three, four. Now here's the goal. Here's your test. It's to try to keep resistance in the loop the entire time. So the main point, when your feet come in, you get slack like this. Just say, keep your feet right up underneath the hips. Hold on to the top. You can test it. Out. Two, three, four. Keep going. One. Two, three, four, stay with it. We're working through it, we're working through it. We talked about nutrition, we talked about eating. We gotta talk about Shakeology though. Stay with it. Speaking of shaking and grooving, Shakeology daily notes of this nutrition. You've heard it before, you know it, it works. You gotta have it every single day. It meets your cravings, complement 
this entire program it helps improve everything all right stay with it triple time lock three two one sink out one two ow oh okay now that should feel different two three reset one two three step in and stay low that you should feel even if you're standing a little bit higher in the hips in the glutes in the quads in my toes everywhere sink down two three keep going you have no mercy i don't know what do, what do you think can we go lower all right can you stay low get low listen it's a short workout you gotta work through it stay with it stay with it oh everything should be burning right now one two three stay low come on oh we're gonna put it together we're gonna see how this goes double out and in triple sidewalk three two one let's go for it four three two bring it back four three two sit down it's just high Every time you land, that's good. Four, three. Hey, look, it's all about you. You have to have fun with it. If you're not having fun, what's the point? Sink down. One, two, three. Bring it back. Boom. Right to us, right to us. Are you holding on to your towel? Keep your chest lifted. Keep your core nice and tight. Sink down. Bring it out. Work your legs and booty. Stay with it. Two. Oh. One, two, three. And. <laughs> there it is. Stay with it. Three. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Make your legs burn. Boom. Three. Sink down. Bring it down low. Down low. Down low. Oh. 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 You're not having any fun. Come on. Three. Two. One. Step out of there, would you? Woo. <laughs> wow. This is gonna be the, this is my favorite part too. So coming out of it, back into boxing, you're gonna feel the rotation is gonna slow you down. But watch, two, five, shake it out, shake out your arms, take a big deep breath in. Two, five, back, front, back arm, front arm. Make sure your heart stays up. You're not gonna stay low. We're also gonna add a little bit of foot movement into this. As you throw your combo, you're going to walk forward, throw your combo, walk back. But first, let's just box, stay in place. All right, here we go. Three, two, go. Two, five, reset. Shh. Now, how's that rotation feel? Right. It might feel a little hard to rotate through because your legs are tired to spine. So just take your time and think about what you've learned so far today. Two, five. Shh. Four is in. Guard is up. Move it. Start from the ground up. The legs. Two five. And now we're gonna try this. We're gonna do two five. We're gonna step forward. Two five. Step forward. Two five. Step back. When you step forward, you lift up your lead leg. When you step back, you step with your rear leg. Okay. But watch our feet. Look. There's still distance. So if I'm turning, the face to the side. I need you to rotate to us. Allows you to throw your combos. Boom, boom. Step in. Two, five. Step back. Two, five. Right the foot. Yeah, two, five. Step back. Two, five. Can we add on two? Two, five, two. Step back. Two, five, two. Step forward. Now really think about exhaling. Breathe through it. I want to hear the team. I want to hear you. Rotation. Boom, boom, boom. From the side. All hips. Boom, boom, boom. You're turning. There's a reason why this works. There's a reason why boxing has become so popular. Because it's fun. Two, five, two. It makes you feel strong and powerful. Like you can take anybody. And when the fun kicks in and takes over, the workout disappears. You're not working out anymore. You're having fun. Come on. Two, five, two. Five, two. Four. Keep going. We're gonna add on one more move. Two, five, two. Now add on a three. There's your power shot. Two, five, two, three. Ah, two, five, two, three. Every time we add on a move, you're gonna hear it. 
And you should feel it too, where you go, oh, ah, because you get excited. Two, five, two, three, step, two, five, two. Are you breathing? Step back. We're here till the end. Base four combo. Okay, all the things you can learn so far. Are you perfect? Are you turning your hips? All your feet stay extended. Two, five, two, three. Our hips. Leg day is every day of boxing, I feel like. They're always punching. Ah, always rotating. Two, five, two, three. Step back. You're here to the end. Come on. Two, five, two, three. Step back. Two, five, two, three. Stay with us. Two, five, two, three. Step back. You're here to the end. Quick, quick, quick. Time for one more. Two, five, two, three. Oh, that was right on the belt. Dude. That was good. Nicely done. All right. Coming into round Don't nine, get a drink of water. Do that. We got my hydrate because I need it. All right. Last great, guys. boxing round. Last boxing round. Yes. You got this, okay? Come on. Now listen up. Start with the front. Should be in your boxing belt. One, four. One, four. You're on your one. Up, up, and turn your hips. One, four. You got two minutes. And then we got a little all out just for funsies, all right? Okay, this time we're gonna add on the movement side to side. But first, standing box, one, four, three, two, one. Let's go, one, four, reset. Turn your hips. A lot of times when we see boxers, they step out really long in their stance. So what that does is it means you lean into it and reach forward, set your feet. This outside your hips, and it allows you to turn. One, four, and breathe. Reset. One, four. Guard is up. We're gonna add on the side movement right now. One, four. Step lead leg. One, four. Step rear leg. One, four. The side to side movement. This is basic footwork movement, and you'll get to add on to it as the program progresses. But what you have to do right now. Keeping your stance, no matter which way you move, you're still in your stance, and still in your stance. Nice. And then you add a three. One, four, three. That's all it is. Repetition, adding on, working through the combinations, and we just keep moving. One, four, three. Step. One, four, three. It's too much. Slow down. We're going to slow down with the watch. One, four, three. And you can see if we slow down, the rotation becomes even more. That's where it is. And then once you think you got it, we go back to it. One, four, three. And we add a two. One, four, three, two. That's your last combo of the day. One, four, three, two. Set the hips. One, four, three, two. There it is. What do you think the knockout punch is? Step. It's power shots. Right there. I heard you, Woody. I heard you, Woody. I heard the sack. What is it? One, four, three. Nice. I tell you what, I wouldn't want to meet any of these guys or you in a dark alley once you get these combos. <laughs> these are for reals. Okay, here it comes. Blast all out. Five to six is right. Now set your feet and go. I thought there was one more. Five to six. It's in one spot. Throw towards me. If you can see your your face, bring it out. Right here, right here. Aim for my nose, right here, right here. Come on, aim for my chin. You gotta go, boom, oh, boom, oh, boom. Turn your hips, turn your shoulders, keep everything moving. Boom, you gotta keep going. Come on. This is it, the last chance. Ones and twos, three, two, go, go, boom, boom, boom. Right to your face, right to my face. Can you go faster? Can you go faster? There's no more punches after this. Keep going. Get your guard up. Keep moving. Keep going. Bop, 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 bop. Come on. Punch as fast as me. You got this. Keep going. Let's go. Let's Keep going. Go. Keep going. I'm coming with you. He's trying to back away. I'm up with you. Come on. In three, two, one. Woo. Woo. Nice. Nicely done. That's a knockout round right there. All right. Hey, you got one more. That's done punching. But you still need... Your loop for core work. Okay. Round 10, we're always going to finish Almost core done. every single 10 rounds workout. We start, loop, side, crunch. Take the loop, 
put it right over the middle in the middle of your shoe. Lay back, knees slightly bent, heels down, toes up. Reach for your opposite heel, feel the tension in your obliques. Second move, the leg that doesn't have the loop on the ground or float it. Body is down, and you're gonna crunch up and try to float your leg as you drop the leg. The loop is right to the thigh. Side crunch first, three, two, go. Reach for it. Now listen, we just did a lot of core work, right? Okay, just check it. The past nine rounds, your core has been constantly engaged. But you know what, just for funsies, we're gonna do one core round every single 10 rounds workout. Stay with it, reach for your heel. Stay with it and really reach out. Keep your shoulders off the ground. Range of motion is your option here. We're gonna take the leg up, loop static leg drop in three, two, one. Extend your leg, other leg up, bring the loop to your uh, thigh and drop it down. Now, shoulders are raised off the ground. If this is too much, drop your head and there's your movement, okay? Hold the loop right to the thigh. You don't have to pull it up any higher. Make sure the loop is right over the bottom of the middle of your shoe. And if you feel like you're ready for the challenge, float the opposite leg, bring your shoulders off the ground, and say, ooh, ah, oh, there it is. Nice. Your foot is flexed. Hold on to the loop. We're not in a hurry right now. Less than 10. Stay with it. Ooh. Yeah. All right, we're going to take the loop. We're going to switch over in three two one nice quickly and carefully rotate to the other side reset and go opposite side reach it's so much fun we could be here forever but we won't be it's only 50 seconds guys there should be no pressure and strain in your neck if you ever feel that that means you're straining and you're trying to lift too high Okay, so drop it down, reset, tuck your chin, and just lift up as high as you can go without straining your neck. And reach for your opposite heel and crunch your obliques. Nice. You got this. Come on. Less than 10 seconds. Crunch. We got one more move. Luke static leg drop. Three, two, one. Extend your foot, drop the other foot out, and bring it up and down. Remember, if this is too much, drop your head. But just hold the movement slowly as you bring it down. And then when you're ready, try to float your leg. Oh, there it is. Right down the middle. You are strong. Stay with it. Control. This is the last exercise of the entire workout. Come on, stay with it. Shh. Woo. You got this. Don't you dare give up now. You're almost there. Less than 10 seconds. Come on, team. Oh, 10 rounds, team. You got this. Three, two, one. Oh, there's that yeah. final bell. Gently get rid of that. Now listen up. Come here. <laughs> Here's the bottom line. Boxing is hot and fitness. It's all the rage right now because it's fun, as you just saw, and it works. But listen. I've been doing this for years. I've taken so many classes. I've gone through training. I've had boxing trainers. I've done all these different things. I tell you what, you know what? It's expensive. It's a lot of money. You can go from 25 bucks to 50 bucks to 150 bucks for the month, and you simply cannot beat the cost, the convenience of 10 rounds, the challenge back. You need to be in this. You need to be a part of this. All right. I like that view, though, Joel. No? I'm going this today. What's that? Yeah, drink. Oh, Let's yeah. see it. So All I don't right. Know my carpet, but <laughs> I'm just gonna hold on. Let me let me get off this chair. There we go. That was amazing. Where is Mike? Where's our Where's our Where's Karpenko? Where's Karpenko? Mike, where are you? The speaker view, maybe. Are you here? Let's see if he's still here. may not be here anymore. All right. Well, we just want to say thank you guys for hopping on with us. That was awesome. We hope you had a good workout. Um, we, we, we lost 60 people doing the workout. Yeah, we lost everyone. Um, <laughs> we recorded it. 
Kendra. So I'll post the beginning part with Joel in the info group. So if you want more I'm information here. on this, there's Mike. Hi. I am here. Give me one second. I just need to sign on my desktop instead of my. You uh, need to put your clothes on. Yeah. No, no, no. I, I was working out. <laughs> <laughs> just give me one second. Your, anytime people have their video not showing, we're like, are you naked? Are you going to the bathroom? What are you doing? Um, anyway, that, if you want more information, there's an info group, but I hope that was just something for you to fill your day with and some joy. And I hope it got some energy and negative crap out for punching. I will share. Um, I've actually tried the first week of the program. And in the first week of the program, he explains what all those moves are. So in the sample workout, I actually just felt lost doing a lot of those. I don't know if anybody else did. But what I like about the, even like the first and second day, he was kind of teaching you that. So remember the sample isn't like, that isn't that program. So if you are looking to do that, I'm learning, like I felt really confident and competent in the first and second workout because I was learning it. Whereas I felt like an idiot doing the sample workout um, because I don't know, I can't get the hooks all right and, and it, all the it, things. It officially launches April 6th. Right? Yeah, it does. Launch, yeah. So, so six weeks all right, I'm on. There he is. All right, Mike. What is your like? What it? What would you say is like your top three favorite things about this program? And you were a cast member, so you were like in the nitty gritty part of production. So love to just was you. Uh, first, first off, I was changing from my phone because I was working out in my living room to my desktop. So it was just one of those. I don't usually use my phone, so I apologize for the audio issues. My top three or my top five? What did you want? Whatever you want. Top three. All right. All right, here's the first thing that I would say take away. Just always keep moving. Like, 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 always keep moving. Like, and the best way that I can, like, when you're going to kind of sort of understand, uh, you know, here's the thing. Like, like, if you guys can see me right now, I, this is the best advice I give you. One, three, and five, don't go down one side. Two, four, and six, go down the other. Okay? One, three, and five, down one side. Two, four, and six go down the other. Uh, so if you throw a one, if you throw a three and it was a one, you still do kind of sort of the same punch. So don't get too upset. And the other is say the, say the combinations out loud. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just say it out loud. It's, it's just part of understanding. Uh, that, that's kind of like my, my, my workout stuff, you know, like, because I know everyone's going to get all like, oh, I don't know what I was doing, and I feel like I look like an idiot. Guess what? We're all not Mayweather. You, you know, we're not. We're not Mayweather. We're not Mike Tyson. We're not. We all think we may look like it. We're going to post our videos and be like, yeah, I crushed it. Yeah. We all dropped our hands. We all put our feet together. We all would have got smacked in the head. Yes, we all, it would have happened to all of us. Um, my next thing I would say is... Uh, I, I, like, I, I think number one is to keep moving and to have fun with this. Like, it's such a fun workout. And I, oh, here's a big one that Joel, Joel and I talked about a lot. I really, truly believe that this, the Beachbody On Demand said that this is an intermediate workout because they had to classify it as something. This is a workout for everybody. Like, I really, truly believe that this is the workout for everyone to keep moving. If you're, you know, if you're an intermediate, yeah, you're going to pick it up a lot faster. If you're an elite, yeah, you know what? You're going to do what you got to do. If you're a beginner, you're going to move and you're going to have a lot of fun. Joel's communication skills are unreal. His cueing skills, unreal. His back, he's a pro's pro, guys. He will speak with you, not at you. He, he's such a good, so I, I will tell you, I've worked with a lot of trainers. They used to run the test groups. He's the best one I've worked with as far as being organized and communicated. He is. They can fight me on it. I just know. <laughs> I just happen to know. Uh, modify the workout. Can you modify any of the workout? Really, the thing about Joel is his simplicity, is that there is not really a lot of need to modify during this. Um, you know, a one is a one. It just depends on how fast you throw the one. A two is a two. You know, uh, move to the left. Well, modify, move slower. You know, uh, chest press. A chest press is a chest press. <laughs> Um, you know, a curl is a curl. I, I don't know how you would modify a curl and I'm a strength and conditioning coach. So the simplicity of this is really something that you can hang on to and have a lot of fun with. And I've always said this as a strength conditioning coach is this, 
if you make it safe, if you make it programmed correctly and you make it fun and then you make it, you make it so they get results, guess what they're going to do every single time? Come back. That's it. And Joel's programming is on point. He's funnier than ever. I mean, I wish they would let him go with everything he has to say because he's funny. Um, he's funny. It certainly is safe because of the simplicity. And, and the other is, if you guys didn't get a chance to look at this, dive into the results. And this is what I want you to dive into. The test group on six weeks. Six weeks, not multiple rounds, not 120 days. I was with Joel while we were on our filming, you know, we were going around and, uh, you know, and, and we, he literally goes, dude, check this out. His face got big. Like he was, he's smiling from ear to ear. And he goes, look. And I go, what? And I, I go, holy cow. I go, dude, they look good. You know, and I kind of just wanted to give him the pat on the back. They look good, dude. They look good. He goes, no, dude, those are six weeks. And I was like, holy crap. Like, like it, lit, it lit me up to see that that was six weeks of results. And that's something to be really proud of and to hang on to. And as a trainer and as a program developer, and when you do those kind of things, there's always this, I can make a program. There's always this, a program will be great. But to actually see that when you do it, it works for the exact time period that you said it would work for in the way that it does and over delivers is unbelievably satisfying. And watch him see that and, and to see what he got in six weeks across the board. We're talking big weight loss. We're talking guys. We're talking females. We're talking inflammation. We're talking, you know, uh, you know, love handles, pooch, you know, you could just see the shrink and you could see it all just happen. And you could see that everybody was having fun doing it. Even when on the frustrating days, they're like, yeah, I get the punch. I mean, right now, let me just say this right now. We're in, we're in, we're in isolation, right? We're all, we all are. Who doesn't want to punch somebody or something? Because you're all lying to me. You're all lying to me right now. If you're not like, if I could get away with punching my 12 year old, I would. I would, I would punch him, her, and then I would waterboard her and I would hold her there until she was like super quiet. Remember like when she was sleeping as a baby? Yes. Or your husband, you're like, if you don't find something to do in the garage, I swear I'll blow the garage up. I swear, I swear. And then you can rebuild it out there. That's what's gonna, so punching right now is a, you know, a, a great place for everybody to, to just be and again, to have fun. And I will say this on, on a big side, can you get another proxy program? Yeah. Can you? Yeah. Can you, can you, can you get another shake? Yeah. What you can't get. I mean, and could you pay less? Yeah. Could you pay more? Yeah. Could you get Kim? Could you get Jamie? Could you get your coach? Because let me tell you right now, man, that's something that people can't compete with. And that's something that what this really is about. Yeah, we get Joel, man. We are blessed to have the best of the best. I, I mean, really, we're blessed. But, you know, to sit back and say that you get what you get, like this meetup. I mean, come on. You had over 150 people here on a meetup. Where can you get that? I love that. So with true. a shake, with BOD, with a boxing workout, with, 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 with. Yes. Amen. I love it. It's so true. It's so, so true. And I think this is what people need in time of need right now is community and empowerment and having an alternative to get our stress out because it is a real thing. It is a meetup. So I appreciate you. Mike, thank you. This was awesome. Guys, there were 152 people at one point together meeting up virtually, sweating it out. And that is exactly what we needed. And Mike, I think we all needed that laugh. So thank you <laughs> for that. That was amazing. <laughs> it's so true. Jamie has never wanted more alone time than he does right now. And he, like, he was even annoyed working out with me in the same space. It was, <laughs> he kept leaving the rooms. I was like, oh gosh. Anyway, guys, we love you. Thanks for being a part of this. Um, we will continue to do this and let's just stay grounded and know that this too shall pass. 
and you're important and we've got this together. See you guys. Thanks, Kim. Thanks, guys.